Here we have Uncanny X-Force, issue number 11, and the Dark Angel Saga begins, chapter 1. Uh, this is written by Rick Remender, of course, who's been doing some terrific work on this title. And uh, we have Mark Brooks on art duties. He's a penciler with Inker, Andrew Curry, and Mark Brooks, of course. And the colors are by Dean White. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, last issue, the X Force broke Dark Beast out because they need him to travel to the Age of Apocalypse to find a celestial life seed, which will rid um, Apocalypse from Warren and stop him from becoming the next Apocalypse. And uh, of course, things don't go as planned. <laughs> and uh, they actually run into versions of their regular X Men characters, but from the Age of Apocalypse universe. And spoiler uh, one of them is Kurt Darkholm. So, you know, Nightcrawler. And this was just perfect. Uh, throughout the issue we get Logan's internal monologue and what I loved is seeing Logan try to keep his emotions in check because um, seeing Kurt after he died you know it, it, it's one of the hardest things he's he's been through along with the of course we know with Jean Grey and whatever but uh, here seeing um, Kurt back alive it, it, it really has him you know not thinking straight uh, for obvious reasons and he even says it himself uh, it, it was just great uh, Remender's writing is just with a uh, pure emotion and I just love what he's doing with you know just everyone but uh, I really like what he's putting between Psylocke and Phantom X that he's obviously building a relationship which I could definitely see happening and I would not be mad if if it happened I I would love it um so yeah oh another thing he's also having fun with Deadpool finally uh, I really liked the way he was writing Deadpool before but now he's really giving more uh, face time to Deadpool and Surprisingly, she's writing Deadpool and managed to make him funny without being annoying to the reader. <laughs> it just, just, which is, I think it's hard to do because I, I, I haven't been able to read a Deadpool book in a while, and I really like Deadpool in this book. So, um, yeah, visually, this book is amazing. Um, Here is a quick look. So much detail, and uh, again, visually stunning. From you know splash pages like that, with beautiful backgrounds, to you know facial expressions, it, it, it's just nailed. Uh, again, with the inker, the colors and pencils are just beautiful. Um, and also, the story is really well told through both the writing and the art and I could easily say this is my favorite Marvel book uh, so that dare does it uh, that's all I have to say about this book this is an easy 5 out of 5 and if you're not reading this something is wrong because you need to be reading this I thoroughly enjoyed every single issue all 11 issues so far have been great and uh, Pick it up, you're really missing out, and this is the start of a new arc. Uh, you could pick this up and, you know, and get what's going on, but you would really, really benefit from reading from issue one on. So, uh, yeah, 5 out of 5, Uncanny X-Force, number 11, pick it up, and let me know what you thought, and you can always subscribe for more videos of my reviews, you know. Thanks for watching.